everybody, happy Monday to you. My name is Steve. Welcome to another outstanding episode of the Steve Tendo Show. Episode 388 on the program. We're 12 away from 4 Hundo. Tonight, we're continuing our Detective Pikachu Returns playthrough. Um, before we begin... Before we begin, you know what we do, and if you don't, you should. Alright, we'll let that load. Oh, I See what happens before I start when I before I stream during a Jet Monday Night Football game. I'm just just annoys the hell out of me. All right, uh, so we are picking up the de uh, detainee Pikachu. It's been a couple of weeks. Has it been a week? Yeah, it's been about a week. Uh, Pikachu's in jail, and we got to find out why. Visit Pikachu. Uh, sorry, I gotta get the layout real quick. Okay, so we found out. I don't think there are points going this way. Where is the police station? I gotta get my bearings. Oh, it's this way. Gotta visit my boy, Choo! Yeah, of course I'm ready. Yes. So this is the visitation room. I feel a little nervous in here. Oh yeah? It's your first time here. Oh, wait. What is it, Tim? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Could you actually wait a second for me, Rachel? Yeah, so what do I do? I've been keeping the fact that Pikachu and I can speak to each other a secret. What's Rachel gonna think when she sees me talking to him? If we're gonna keep investigating together, I should just tell her the truth. Are you okay, Tim? You look like you're thinking awfully hard. Rachel. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? It sounds pretty serious. Oh, it is. I don't expect you to believe me, but the truth is... I can understand everything Pikachu says. That's it? Is she gonna take it? Like, eh. I know it must be shocking to hear someone say a thing like that. If you don't believe me, I understand. Amazing! <laughs> huh? That's incredible, Tim. I'm so jealous that you can communicate with Pokemon. So when you said you've been solving cases with Pikachu, you really meant it literally? How are you able to talk with him? Do you know how that happened? Honestly, I'm not sure myself. He's the only Pokemon I can understand, too. Pikachu interprets for me when I'm speaking to other Pokemon. 
Wow, Pikachu's pretty clever. It must be your strong bond of trust with Pikachu that lets you understand him. Hmm, but we were able to talk as soon as we met. Then maybe you just instinctually understood each other's feelings from the start. Yeah, maybe. But hey, you're pretty amazing yourself, you know. You've studied so much about Pokemon, and it's clear how much you care about them. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate you saying that. I've always, always felt this way, that I want to understand Pokemon better and have them understand me as well. Always, huh? Maybe we could learn more about each other over dinner. Yeah, Pokemon rescued me when I was just a little kid, you know? Oh, cutscene. Once, when I got lost in the forest in Bamboo Burrow, an Ursa Ring helped me out. An Ursa Ring? That's right. I was cold, lonely, and crying. But it stayed by my side and kept me safe. I know that Ursa Ring helped me because it could understand what I was feeling. And that's why I wholeheartedly believe that Pokémon and humans can understand each other's feelings. My mother. I learned that from her. Understanding each other's feelings? That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Glad they had a caption that. <laughs> I remember that day so clearly. That Ursa ring and I really connected back then, heart to heart. And when I told mom and dad about it, or mama and papa, I still don't understand why they do that. They said that humans and Pokemon were always meant to be that close. But papa's changed. What an asshole, am I right? <laughs> All this Pokemon management stuff. Hey, what's up, Kyle? That's a lot of years? Uh, yeah, it is a lot of years. All this Pokemon management stuff is so unlike him, and when they've done nothing wrong. I understand how you feel, Rachel. Thanks, Tim. Choo! Where are you at, boy? Where is he? Yes. You killed her today! <gasps> yes, Pikachu. I wonder if Tim's made any progress. At them. Thanks for coming to see me. I'm glad to see you're okay, Pikachu. Oh, and Rachel's here too? Hey, Tim, are you sure this is okay? Letting her see us talk like that? I told her everything. About that. I actually just told Rachel our secret. She knows that you and I can talk to each other. Wow, that was pretty bold of you. Did she even believe you? Yeah, she even said she was jealous. Haha, <laughs> well, that's a relief. Rachel's a bit of an odd one, isn't she? Don't talk about her like that, Pikachu. Either way, there's still an officer in the room, so we should keep it down. Yeah, I know. So anyway, let's get straight to the point. I've got something to report to you, Tim. I managed to get help from the other Pokemon in the detainment rooms. Now I can see into all sorts of different places inside the police station. Wow, that's fantastic. Good thing you figured out how to get along with them. We're not exactly best friends or anything like that, but I guess that's okay. Uh, I, uh, I dropped the soap. <gasps> and they helped me pick it up. Because they're so nice. There's something else I wanted to talk to you about, too. Come on, let's pool our information. What what'd you find? I found this photo of the incident occurring at Fountain Plaza. Check it out! It's a Pikachu. It's a Pikachu! And I don't gotta tell you, it's not me. The other Pikachu, that other Pikachu is the real culprit. But that's your hat in the picture. Yeah, somebody must have gotten it specifically to frame me. But it's obvious that it isn't me, right? Right. You've got stripes on your back. But the Pikachu in this photo doesn't have any. Stripes on Pikachu's back! Exactly. And I'm curious about that thing on its back. It's the same device that I've got on my back right now, too. Cube shaped device on Pikachu's back! I asked around the city yesterday about those devices. Based on the testimony I gathered, I'm pretty sure they're meant to keep Pokemon pacified. To keep them from going berserk, you mean. Hey. Were you able to track down the real culprit? The other Pikachu? No. We found some tracks, but they trailed off. I don't know where it went. Too bad. Sorry I haven't been able to pr prove your innocence yet. Hey, no need to apologize. I know you're trying your best. If you couldn't find it, you couldn't find it. What's important is what you do next. Yeah, and that's for that double of yours. I think there's a high chance that a different Pokemon was impersonating you. You think so? Now that's an intriguing theory. A game theory. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I hate myself even for that. <laughs> oh, by the way, Pikachu, what kinds of Pokemon are helping you in there? 
There's lots of them, but the most helpful one is Luxray. He's a bit rough around the edges, but he can see through objects and use powerful electric type moves. Powerful electric type moves. That vision thing sounds pretty handy, but if he knows strong electric type moves, let me stop you right there. I don't think Lux race the culprit at all. If he were, the PPB wouldn't have had any cause to arrest me in the first place. Yeah, good point. Oh, that reminds me. Luxray asked me to pass on a message to you. What is it? He wants to know how his friend Mighty Enna is doing out there. The two of them got in a fight, and Luxray's worried about what happened in the aftermath. He says Mighty Enna usually hangs around 2nd Avenue. Got it. I'll keep an eye out for Mighty Enna and let you know how it's going. Thanks, Tim. That's it. Hey. So any guesses about what Pokemon was pretending to be me? I have an idea, but I need to consider all the possibilities. Let's see. Let's think. Actually, Let's Rachel, what do you think? Let's okay, think. now we can get our notebook out. Be begin to do sing. Mm -hmm. Which Pokemon committed the crimes? Let's think it over. Is Pikachu the culprit? Is Luxray? Ditto. A ditto, huh? Yeah, a ditto could have made itself look like me. Ditto's partner said that Ditto can only copy things it can see. That probably explains why there were no stripes on the Pikachu's back in the photo. But I've looked in every detainment cell, and I didn't see a Ditto in any of them. That's strange. If it was detained, it should be in a detainment cell. Guess I better search the other rooms in the station. Now we gotta look for Ditto. A Ditto that used Transform! If the PBB and the police have been using Ditto, then they're definitely up to no good. So that's it. What is it, Tim? I saw Brad out and about several times while I was investigating. He seemed to be examining the scene of the crime, a crime which already had a culprit. That's kind of suspicious. That's kind of sus, bro! I really don't want to suspect Brad, but I can't help but wonder what he was up to. Yeah, Brad might be a bit of an asshole, but still, we've known him for two years now. I don't like having to think of him as a suspect. But you need to look into what he's been up to. But... Tim, you're a detective, aren't you? You're not trying to bring Brad down. You're only trying to uncover the truth. Yeah, you're right. And look into the cube-shaped devices, too. I understand their function to pacify Pokemon, but that alone doesn't explain everything. You're right. The picture in the photo damaged that Slowpoke statue. The devices may have some other function as well. What was Brad doing at the crime scene? I wonder what Brad was doing at the crime scenes. I suppose you could just ask him, but if he was up to something shady, he might just give us the runaround. In that case, maybe we should ask the other police officers. Agreed. You might want to ask people in the city what they think of him, too. Hmm. That's what I'm going to ask random people. So about how those cube-shaped devices work. I keep losing my memory here in the police station, so I really don't know much about them. Try asking people in the city about them. I'm sure there are people who have seen those devices attached to Pokemon. Try hearing what they've got to say. Visiting time is over. Ugh, man, I wish we had more time. Good luck with your investigation. Uh, not this, darn it. What is it, Pikachu? It's just like yesterday, that feeling when I'm about to lose my memories. And my body's moving on its own. Pikachu! It's no use. Is Pikachu okay? He was walking kind of strange just now. He was he was like that after our first visit, too. I'm worried about him. Let's go back to my place, Rachel. Detainment day two. Tim, evening. All right. So there are two things we need to do. First, find Brad. Second, Look into what those cube-shaped devices actually do. Is Brad that man we saw on the plaza? You know him, right? I hope you don't end up squaring off against each other because of this case. Yeah, that'd be pretty scary, but we don't know for sure yet that th that that'll ever... Excuse me. Uh, but we don't know for sure yet that that'll ever happen. Let's just concentrate on un uncovering the truth! 
Oh, one more thing. If we see Mighty Anna, we might uh, we need to check and see how it's doing. Mighty Anna? Yeah, Pikachu asked me to check on it. Apparently it's friends with a Luxray in the station. Wow, you talked about all that? It just sounded like Pika Pika to me. Yeah, that's normal. Pretty sure I'm the weird one here. Not weird, Tim. Exceptional. Oh man, she so wants us. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. Glad I opened up to you. Uh, detectives. Oh, sorry. I guess we shouldn't keep talking here. No, 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 no. That's fine. No, 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 no. Uh, were you talking about Brad just now? Yeah. There's something we'd like to ask him about. Well, if you're looking for Brad, he just headed out to 2nd Avenue on New Orders. <gasps> really? Thanks for letting us know. Okay. We're heading to 2nd Ave right now, right? Let's go hear what Brad has to say. Uh, how do I find 2nd Avenue? Which one is 2nd Avenue? Oh, I guess that way is 2nd Avenue. I walk down to 2nd Avenue. Oh god, who's the Mach That Machamp was in there before. Machamp! Unparalleled strength. Champ! Wow, check out those guns! Oh, Rachel. Cool. Calm down, Rachel. You should have only eyes for me. Oh, look at this poser. Let's look at my Machamp. Aren't his muscles a sight to behold? He certainly looks extremely strong. Douche. We'll talk to those cops in a minute. Just make sure there's nothing that we want to talk to in here. Yeah. We already talked to Hatsuna. Okay. Let's talk to these cops. Excuse me. Good evening. May I ask you some questions? Hmm, is something the matter? Yeah, why do you look like you're 12 years old? Did anything unusual happen in the city today? What do you mean by unusual? I mean, we respond to incidents every day. And with so many Pokemon-related incidents lately, it feels like things are anything but usual. Sounds like a lot to deal with. It may be a lot, but it's my job. All I can do is keep doing my best. I feel like we talked to them. He look they both look young, don't they? If danger rears its head, you can trust... Oh, rhyme doesn't have an H in it? Ooh, I'm gonna have to fix that. The Rhyme City Police to protect and serve. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I can ask you some. Did anything unusual happen in the city today? Hmm. Well, there wasn't. There were a number of incidents. Would you like me to tell you about each one? No, I don't need to hear that much. Oh, it's no trouble at all. Anything to protect the peace of our fine city. So nothing. Okay, that goes to the Fountain Plaza. Do we get any Excuse new information me. from this guy? We do. Did anything strange happen after we talked? No, that was it. And Impidim still hasn't come back. Brad is the... Like, the other cop who we think is setting us up. He's the, uh, Manectrix trainer. Or partner, I think. So he's like a higher up in the police department, I I believe. Uh, I wonder what that what the poor little guy's doing in the police station right now. Yeah, me too. He could be lonely in there. I'm worried that he's getting up to his usual pranks and causing trouble for the cops. He's always got so much excess energy to burn. I can only hope he behaves himself. All right, so nothing there. There's a pump kaboo that I cannot talk to. Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh. Apparently you put up a better back than front. hi -oh! <sighs> I don't know what to do. Excuse me. Is everything okay? Well, I live on a back street just off of Fountain Plaza, you see, and I always walk through the plaza on my way home. But now, whenever I'm walking through the plaza, I keep hearing this strange voice. A strange voice? <coughs> uh, yeah, but when I turn around to see who's making it, there's never a soul in sight. Do you think it's a g -g 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 ghost? Of course not. I'm sure there's a logical explanation. Why? They're ghost Pokemon. Why couldn't it be a ghost? I hope so. But until I know what the voice is, the plaza is just too creepy for me to go anywhere near. Case of the Rhyme City Ghost. Doesn't it make you curious, Tim? It sure does. 
find the truth behind a mysterious voice. All right, so there's a ghoul somewhere. All right, so we can't go that way. I called the police, so I'm sure they'll do something about it soon. I hope the police can take care of this quickly. Huh? There's an angry Pokemon back there. What do you think, Tim? Sounds like the police came this way. Maverick! I th you think I should be a detective? Hey, I went to I went to school for criminal justice and history. A lot of good I'm doing with either of those. <laughs> All right, so we... That'll give me too much power. Too much power! He's back there, though. They won't let me through. All right, so... Ooh, uh, what do you got? Oh, okay. Cannon! All right, so uh, I guess... Now that they won't let us through, I guess we have to go to Fountain Plaza. And see what we can uncover Let's see how bad this is getting is there a reason why none of these are loading here Oh, they got on the board. So that's something. Alright, yeah, sorry. That's what happens when I have to check a jet game while streaming. Uh, second... Okay, so now we're in Fountain Plaza. What are we doing here? Are we looking for the Mighty Etta? Indeedy. Indeed. Oh, and Ndidi, these Pokemon can read the emotions of those around them. And they're really kind, too. Ndidi always tries to help out when someone's in trouble. You said you wish you could understand the hearts and minds of Pokemon, too, right? Yeah, I hope someday I could be more like Ndidi. Oh, hello now. You need something? Excuse me. I was just hoping I could ask you some questions. You have to speak up, young man. My ears are not what they used to be. Oh, can I not? A palm? What is A palm doing here? All right, so nothing. What is the point of being able to ask the old lady? Can I ask you some questions if they don't let you ask questions? All right, that was the ring guy. Yeah, that's okay. So they want they let us go to Second Avenue, but they won't let us go through it unless I miss something. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, this is the guy that uh, uh, about his more Pecco who's in jail. Um, uh, not really. I was so shocked after they took more Pecco from me that I couldn't find the motivation to do anything else with my day. Bonus person! Did you t did you try going to the police station? You might be able to visit more Pecco there. Uh, that, that thought never even occurred to me. I'll try visiting tomorrow. Alright, so I think we're going to have to go back where we Excuse were. Me. Intellion hasn't come back yet, has he? Why is he in jail? Because the basis of this chapter is that the, I think the Pokemon Protection Bureau, the PPB, is locking Pokemon in jail that they're accusing of doing criminal acts or crimes and they have are not doing it. Now the shop sure is lonely without him. All right, so now we're back at the police station. So I guess we'll go back down to Second Avenue. 
I didn't see Mighty Anna. I didn't. Hashtag free more Peko. He forgot to pay taxes because he's eating too much. All right, so clearly, can I go? Let me see what these people, women say again. I called the police, so I'm sure they'll do something about it. I hope the police can take care of this quickly. What? Wait a minute. You can go around that way? Uh, alright. So there's... So here's Brad and the Mighty Anna. I don't know what happened there. Why it let you walk through the that time. Now then, we're going to have to detain this Pokemon properly. It's Brad! And it sounds like he's just about to detain a Pokemon. Mighty Anna back alley outlaw. It's a Mighty Anna. Wait, Tim, isn't that? Yeah, it's the Pokemon Pikachu asked me to check up on. Luxray's friend. Well, well, if it isn't our great detective, you're welcome to observe, but don't get in our way. Brad McMaster, pompous douchebag. This Mighty Anna is preventing the residents from passing through. But my right, she has killed thousands of innocent Pokemon people, but she's not in jail. Now you just, now it's on video that you admitted to Killing thousands of people. Well, Pokemon and people. Oh, they're going to come for her. Not only that, the same Mighty Anna was previously involved with an altercation with the Luxray. This Pokemon poses a clear threat to the public. I'm afraid we'll have to detain it. And wait, Brad. And you are? Wait, you're the mayor's daughter, aren't you? Monty with the mayor's daughter. Yeah, I'm Howard's daughter, Rachel. Forgot to, forgot to say in Minecraft. Let's look at this mighty Anna, Brad. The poor thing is hurt. Anna. Please, at least treat its wounds before you take it in. Don't you feel sorry for mighty Anna? I'll make sure it receives treatment after I've taken it to the station. Will that satisfy you? Yeah. No, it won't. We'll treat mighty Anna ourselves then. Whoa, you two? My, my. Who knew you were so talented? Tim, let's get help from a Pokemon. After Are we even sure there's a Pokemon that can help? We'll go find one right away. I'm sure there's one in the city somewhere. Maybe we can find a Chansey, an Audino, or a Dee Okay. No. Oh. No. Oh, screw you, Brad. Dick. I didn't, see, I didn't see any ghosts or anything in the Fountain Plaza. Maybe I can't do anything with that yet. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's talk to the Indeedy. Indeed. Look, Tim, Indeedy. Hey, you two. Why do you think you're... Oh, maybe she's not that old. A Pokemon's hurt. Please, we need Indeedy's help. Ah, is that so? Very well, then. We should always help one another in times of need. Go with them, indeed. You can help them out. Indeed. <laughs> Thanks so much. This way. This way. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Heal this vagrant. <sighs> It appears that Mighty Anna has recovered nicely. Not fully, but it's at least stable for now. Now I trust this is enough for you to put, uh, enough to put your mind at ease, Rachel. I appreciate you waiting for us to get it treated. There's something I'd like to talk to you about, Brad, before you take Mighty Anna away. Now what's that, great detective? There's something off about all these Pokemon detainments the police have been doing. Every single incident was caught by the surveillance cameras. That's too convenient to be natural. Surely you've noticed, Brad. Innocent Pokemon are being framed. That's what happened to my Pikachu, and he can't be the only one. So you're suspicious of the surveillance cameras? But the footage on those cameras is incriminating evidence. Unless, great detective, you found evidence that Pokemon are being framed. No, not yet. In that case, I have no choice but to take this mighty Anna into custody. It's my duty. Yeah, Brad! 
Take it away. Big away, toys. What? Chief? That, that, just shut up and do what the kids said. Oh, I was hoping they were going to bring, like, the paddy wagon out and put handcuffs on her and lock him up. I hope my is okay. It'll be with Pikachu and the others at the station. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is all just so frustrating. You're a loser, Brad. Yeah, I know, right? We couldn't even stop Brad. If we just had some proof, we have... If we just had some proof, we gotta find some. We need to find some. Oh, thank goodness. I'm glad that Mighty Anna finally calmed down. Now we can finally get through here safely. Hey, hey Tim, I bet we can talk to those two, those people over there. You're right. Hey, ladies! Hi, ladies! Thank you for coming at Mighty Anna just now. You really did us a favor. Oh, we actually didn't do much. Do you mind if we ask you some questions? Oh, uh, what did you need? Do you know anything about the cube-shaped devices that are you? Gee, that's... The proof is that I made it up. Well, that's basically what he's going to do until we have incriminating, damning evidence. Do you know anything about the cube-shaped devices that are used when Pokemon are detained? That? Why are we asking them that? You mean those things, they stick to their backs? The way they glow, they're pretty hard to miss. Noty testimony from Lady in the Park. Glowing backs, huh? Kind of reminds me of that of Volby or Illumise. Oh, and the Pokemon seem to really dislike those devices. How could you tell? I saw a Pokemon struggling and flailing its limbs. Noted testimony from other lady in the park. Excuse me. Do you know anything about Brad McMaster? He's a poli he's the police lieutenant who was just here. Okay, so he's the lieutenant of the police department. Hmm, not really, but he certainly was easy uh, uh, easy on the eyes. Oh, don't have hots for Brad. He's a dick. Yeah, he gives Ryan. Ugh, both of them have hots for Brad. Now I doubt everything they just told me. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't think we're gonna learn anything useful about Brad from these two. Hey! Your Honor, if you say to my client, I do declare, if you say that my client is guilty, then you are not invited to the birthday party. And just so you know, Spider Man is gonna be there. Oh man, that. Oh, the, Your Honor, you gotta go to that party. I do declare that I will be there with the bells on. I, I'm indubitably. I doubt we'll be able to speak with Brad directly anymore today. Let's talk to some other people. New rule. Brad is not a Brad. <laughs> I hope we can learn more about Brad and those cube shapes. Interview people about Brad and the cube shaped devices. Then solve the mystery. He's Brad, 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 Leroy Brown. Yeah, what, 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 what will I do? Excuse me. Do you need help with something? Frame so. See that building back there? One of my kids accidentally threw a ball on, up onto the roof. But I can't get up there to retrieve it. So I'm not sure what to do. No kidding. I can't even see that high up from here. Scaling the wall is pretty much out of the question. Yep. On the icing of the cake, I foolishly promised my kids I'd have their ball back to them by tomorrow. It's gotta be some way to get it. Actually, I think this calls for some Pokemon help. Now let's go look for a Pokemon that's good at climbing. We'll see what we can do. Oh, we're gonna go get the A-Pom, aren't we? Retrieve the ball for the man's children. A mysterious voice can be heard near Fountain Plaza. So they still won't let us go that way. I want to ask her again. Oh, oh I got more information. Do you know a man named Brad McMaster who works for the Rhyme City Police? He's tall and typically wears a blue suit. Oh, he just came to see me earlier. He asked me to tell him about Impidip. Noted testimony from guy in front of the diner. So I told him. Well, everything. How much Impidip loves playing pranks? His fondness for shiny things? You know, stuff like that. The lieutenant was a really good listener. He took it all very seriously. 
but I never figured out exactly why he was asking me all that. I see. Thanks again for your help. So Brad was asking about an impotent who'd already been detained. Just what is Brad up to? Let's go talk to the champ guy again. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Marcha. Rachel, please, calm down. Are right, we gonna ask his his other officers how much they like him? Do you happen to know Lieutenant McMaster? Yeah, of course. The lieutenant's really been throwing himself into his work lately. Just Brad doing Brad things. The one weird the one weird thing I've noticed though is that recently he's been going out and working on his own, and at the scenes of crimes that have already been solved. At that, noted testimony from a female twelve year old cop. Why would he be doing that? I really couldn't tell you. Um, Is it true that you use cube-shaped devices when you're detaining Pokemon? Oh, you must mean the management tags. What makes a management tag different from any other tag? Uh, I'm really not sure. I think they're really high-tech or something. I mean, they're machines after all. They've probably got little computers inside or something. Do you know anything specific about their function? Well, I'm ashamed to say, but not really. I think the higher ups at the PPB know how they work, though. All right, ask cop number two. Excuse me. Of course, we work together on a regular basis. He excels at performing his duties. He picks me up from soccer practice and drops me off at school because I'm 12 years old. His investigations are so thorough and efficient that Pokemon are detained almost as fast as the case itself is opened. In fact, Lieutenant McMaster has the highest crime clearance rate in the entire department. No testimony from cop. Wow, I didn't realize Brad was so highly regarded. Is it true they use cube-shaped devices? Oh yeah, those things. We got orders from the PBB to attach them to Pokemon. How to do the devices function? Who knows? They never really gave us any details. Alright, so that is everybody on this side. I think we'll talk to the APOM that climbed the building to get the ball back for the guy. Or we'll go this way and talk to all the people outside first. Just to... Just to see what we got here. Uh, we'll talk to that Del Caddy in a minute. All right, let me just. Brad needs to needs to me be a bread or Brad. stop paying attention to that for a little bit okay uh so let's talk to the cop outside the station back to visit pikachu again you sure passionate Excuse me. actually that's not bradding the brad way that's how much brad about the situation in the city did anything strange happen in the city today i don't know if i'd necessarily call it strange but there have been several pokemon related incidents Bradception. Brad the Brad the Brad the Brad. At this rate, they're going to fill up every detainment room we've got. That must be pretty stressful for the Pokemon. If they're stressed, they can work it out during their daily exercise time. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Thanks for letting us know about Lieutenant McMaster. No trouble. No trouble at all. What did you need them for anyway? Alright, that's enough of that. 
Okay, uh, oh, I just remembered something about the incident Pikachu was involved in. I thought it could help with the investigation, so I wanted to tell the lieutenant in person. Understood. Thanks for reporting whatever info you can. Do you know anything about those cube-shaped devices? Oh, those things? I hear they're management tags. I don't quite understand how they work, but they're pretty interesting. The moment a Pokemon is outfitted with a device, it goes with the police without any resistance. Note a testimony from cop outside. Really? The Pokemon do that on their own? Yeah, it's much safer when they aren't violent. Let's think. Oh, uh, all right. I don't think we have enough. Well, do we have enough for one of these? Let's see. I've collected a good amount of information about Brad. He's hiding evidence. He was casing locations for future crimes. I don't think we have enough for that one. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out. It could be. Could they be devices that make Pokemon stand out? Could they be devices for controlling Pokemon? Uh, yeah. Okay. Those devices. Uh, what about the Brad Cube? Rad Brad Cube Doob. Those devices might actually be capable of controlling Pokemon. You really think so? I do. We don't have any evidence yet, of course, but it seems that way. It seems that way based on what we've heard. If that's true, then Ditto was forced to obey someone else's orders. Yeah! That's terrible. If, this, if the person orchestrating these crimes was controlling Ditto, how were they able to give it orders? Based on all the witness testimonies so far, it's not clear whether anyone was directing Ditto's actions. True, but there had to have been someone at the crime scenes taking talking directly to Ditto, right? Uh, yeah, I can't really think of any other method they could have used. Maybe a witness saw something. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have an... I'm, reason Brad closes so many cases because he commits the crimes himself. Yeah, I don't think we have... I don't think we have everything we need for that one yet. Oh yeah, the lieutenant just left, in fact. Really? Do you know wh what he was doing here? The same thing as you, actually. Investigating the flower display, Intellion was accused of vandalizing. Noted testimony from flower shop owner. I couldn't make out what, but he was muttering to himself the whole time. Just like at Fountain Plaza. Brad sure spends a lot of time returning to the scene of the crime. But why is he investigating these crime scenes after the Pokemon have already been detained? It really makes me wonder. Okay, so she doesn't give us any information. This guy. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just met him. He came to ask some, me some question. Did he say question or questions? Oh, I did say questions. Okay. Oh, really? About what? The lieutenant asked me for details on Morpeko's ability. Noted testimony from Morpeko's partner. Hangry mode. So I explained how Morpeko's appearance in the typing of his aura wheel move changes depending on whether he's hungry or full. Maybe Brad came to the same conclusion we did, Tim. It doesn't make sense for Morpeko's hangry aura wheel to have been electric type if he was hungry when it used it. If that's true, then what exactly is Brad trying to do? Let's think. Oh, maybe we do have enough evidence for, for this one. Mm-hmm. We've seen Brad at several crime scenes. He might be investigating incidents on his own. Maybe Brad was hangry. He was casing locations for future crimes. I think it's this one. Okay. Yeah. If Brad were the one giving orders to Ditto, there'd be no reason for him to go around asking questions after detaining the Pokemon. Brad gotta stop being a negative hangry Bradsy. <laughs> so you think Brad's just investigating the incidents like we are? Yeah, I do actually. That's a pretty foregone conclusion. He was conducting his own investigation. 
Okay. All right. Now we know Brad isn't the culprit. Wow, just like that. And we got that tip about Ditto too. We should tell Pikachu as soon as we can. At night? Would they even let him let us see him? The officer at the reception desk said that we that we could visit up to twice a day. As long as the station's open, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, we're not going to visit Pikachu yet. We got we got more stuff to do. Yeah, I figured that would be the one. Oh, look, there it goes. Let's go find the guy. Well, you're the two from earlier. That ball's so small, you couldn't get enough, nothing like that? Guess what? After you left, an A-pop up here got the ball for me. So it helped you out after all. Glad to hear it. Ah, I figured you said that over. It was such a huge help. My kids will be so happy. Though I'd better give them a stern talking to about taking care of their things. Isn't she that girl? You stopped with that. <laughs> Don't you ruin Rachel for me. Oh, I don't go too hard on them. Kids will be kids. Looks like Apom wants to play with the ball, too. Oh, do you want to play with my kids? They'd be so happy to have an Apom for a friend. Looks like you're happy to make new friends, too, Apom. Alright, so we did that one. So the only one we have left... Is a uh, mysterious cry has been heard near Fountain Plaza. Okay, so we talked to everybody here. I could go to Pikachu. But I want to know, if I can, I want to know what was making that noise in the Fountain Plaza. Let's see, will it let me check anything? No. Okay. I already checked that. That's in DD. All right, so I guess we looked in the barrel. Talo, new in town. Help. Who's that Pokemon? It's Talo, so that's what was crying out. Low, low. Boy, it's loud. Why do you suppose it's making so much noise? I have a feeling this Talo only recently left its nest. Apparently, young Talo often become lonely and start loudly crying out for their parents. Gosh, now I'm kind of worried for it. Don't worry, I'm sure it'll be fine. Taylor are also known for being gutsy. Keep your spirits up, Taylor. Well then, let's go report what we found. Let's go tell this lady about the ghost. Oh, detective. How did the investigation go? Turns out the voice you heard was a Taylor's. I think it was crying out because it only just left its nest, so it's lonely. What a relief. Now I know there's nothing to worry about. G -g 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 ghost! Oh, but if it's not too much trouble, would you mind introducing yourself to Talo? I'm sure if there's someone checking in on it, it'll feel safer too. Good idea. I actually just arrived in Rhyme City myself. I'll say hello to Talo whenever I'm on my way home. I hope we can be friends. Thanks. I bet you two will become friends in no time. Alright, so that's all the quests on this chapter, area, page whatever uh so now we're gonna go chat with our buddy pikachu and kyle got timed out by a ghost the horror all right so let's go into the policia wait what was that oh fire hydrant Let's go check and see if they'll let us meet. Yes, I would like to visit Pikachu. 
So how did they get into field goal range? Kidding me? All right, well that's bad clock management. At the end of the half, whatever. Uh, I'm I'm in the detainment room. Great, back again with missing memories. A mystery for another time. Right now, my goal is the chief's office on the second floor. There was a duct in his office, but it doesn't seem to be connected to the ones down here in detainment. I'll have to go up to the first floor and search for a duct that connects to the chief's office. I guess I'll go see Luxray first, though. I can look for a duct leading to the chief's office after that. Uh, well, Luxor is not in this cell. Hmm. Uh, Luxray's. All right, Pangoro. Go slow, okay? Exactly what's bothering me. Now stop looking so happy about it. <laughs> what's in that chief's office you mentioned? Go find out and let me know. Uh, how do I get in there? Hmm. That would be how I get there. Come on, Lightbird. You got this? No. No, no. Eh? Why would that be one of those like, uh -huh? I'm not sure why Pikachu would react like that after her light part saying, yeah, I hope we succeed. <laughs> well, now I'm on the first floor, but there are lots of police officers up here. If they spot me, I'll get thrown right back into the detainment room. Anyway, where should I go? You what? Oh wow, they weren't kidding. There are quite a few cops. Looks like there's a duct way back there. Based on the floor plan, I'm guessing that duct should connect to the chief's office. Guess there's no point in standing around. Muscles don't fail me now. Head to the duct that leads to the chief's office without being spotted. Okay, so they can't, so they can't see me like that. I want to see what this guy does. Oh, so that's what she's gonna do? Ah! Oh, of course they don't let you do that. It's like late 80s, early 90s techno beat. Gotta walk. Is this guy just gonna turn? Nope. Perfect. 
Good thing that cop isn't gonna notice us climbing up this ladder. Why are they all so high up? Finally out of there. This has got to be the chief's office. Just look at it. Looks like my little stealth mission was a success, as expected. Now let's find out what they're really up to. Investigate the chief's office. All right, let's see. What am I after? What are we after in, oh wait. No, it's a door handle. The ditto. It's for us, sort of. Hey, you're that ditto we've been hearing about, aren't you? Is this where you've been? Wow, it's a Pikachu. You, it's a Pikachu! You know about me? Oh yeah, and I know all about you. Matter of fact, I got some questions for you. Hey. Why are you here? What are you even doing here? I've been here for ages using transforms that turn into all kinds of Pokemon. Oh man, he's gonna incriminate himself. Mr. Man always asks me to do in here. Always asks me to do in here in this room. He says, "Transform into this Pokemon." But after I use Transform, my head goes all fuzzy, so I don't really remember what happens after that. <gasps> You've been experiencing memory loss too, eh, Ditto? I know just how you. Hey, wait a minute! Did Ditto make itself look like me and break that Slowpoke statue while its memories were missing? It's under mind control. Was someone in this room earlier? A guy called Butler? Yep, Mr. Man's here all the time. Not right now, though. You're not Butler's partner, though, are you? Partner? No, my best friend is Granny. Mr. Man is the person who brought me here. He's really nice. Butler? Nice? With a mean mug like that? He gives me lots of compliments when I use Transform. Hey, Ditto, you haven't seen your Granny in a while, have you? Nope, nuh-uh. Will I get to see her if I keep waiting in this room? Grab Molly! I think Granny is the old lady in that on 2nd Street that we spoke to, 2nd Avenue, that said her ditto was missing. I'm afraid not, ditto. Wait as long as you like. She won't be showing up here anytime soon. Huh? Really? This poor ditto is just another victim. Not the safe. There's a safe in this room. You know that big box? Yep, it's right over there. Do you know what's inside? I saw Mr. Man move papers in and out of that box lots of times. He sings a weird song whenever he opens or closes the box. A song? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 515. Oh, that's the code. O two five one five O two O. 515 020. That's what Mr. Man sings when he opens the box. Five one five five one five zero oh, two zero oh, like that? Yeah, just like that. You're a real good singer. Got it. Thanks. Sounds to me like a six-digit number. Thanks. Thanks for telling me all that stuff. By the way, Ditto, do you mind turning around for a sec? Huh? What is it? Do you have something on me? Sorry about this. Yeah. I feel like I've almost got it. I guess I'm not strong enough to pull the device off. Guess I'm not strong enough to jerk it off. <laughs> oh, Pikachu. I thought I might be able to remove it and stop Ditto from doing any more bad things. Huh? What? Didn't you say something? Uh, uh no. Uh, no, no. Nothing at all. About the passcode to the safe. What does that mean? Oh, you're not old enough. Now let's just see if there's anything else in here that we can check. All right, let's. <laughs> All right, five one five one five zero two zero. Open the chest. Yeah. All right, it worked. Let me see what we got in here. A packet of papers and some photos. I just hope this info helps us get out of here. Let me see. 
The cover of this instruction manual has diagrams of those cube-shaped devices. Guess that means it's got details on how to use them. Hmm, so these things are called control cubes. I like management tags better. It says they are special controllers to operate. It says there are special controllers to operate the cubes remotely. They must have used those controllers to make us walk up to the roof. Sheesh, that's not totally disturbing or anything. Let me see. Looks like paperwork sent to Butler for some sort of organization. And the organization's name is Unitas. Or Unitas. Does this imply a Chichuki stream this week? Possibly. Um, if it's not this week, this week, because this weekend is actually a little busy, um, I'll try and either do Sunday afternoon, probably not Sunday afternoon, Friday night, possibly, I'm not sure about that, or next Friday or Saturday. It might not be this weekend. Oh, wait a sec. These are orders to Butler. This sort of organization can order around the chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau. Just who are these Unitas people? Unitas? Unitas? His orders are to capture Pokemon and transfer them. Looks like this has been ongoing for six months already, but the number shot up in the last month. And it was all go and it was go all going on right under my nose. I really dropped the ball. What's this about compensation? These numbers show how much Unitas Unitas has been paying Butler, and the payments are for sending the captured Pokemon being kept at this station to some other location. Uh, what? Um... When does the final DLC wave come out? I know it comes out this week, but I don't know the exact date. It'll probably be Mario Kart. If it's not Mario Kart, it'll be uh, Shiny Hunting and Pokemon. Because I'm probably going to do the Mario Kart stuff on uh, Steve Tendo show also. Thursday? Yeah, it'll be Mario Kart then. Ah, uh, these are photos of their targets. Hey, wait! That's me! Butler was under orders to capture me? But what the heck for? Nothing here is giving me any insight into Unitas' actual goals. Unitas. Uh, do I want to say Unitas or Unitas? I think Unitas. Unitas. Okay. Oh, here's a photo of some humans. Hmm. This lady looks awfully familiar. Wait. Oh, I remember. That's Jessica. Pretty sure we met her in the cafe the other day. Wasn't she friends with Rachel? That's the other guy, the scientist, too. But why is Jessica circled in red? I've got to let Rachel know about this. Hmm, who's that? Who's that woman next to Jessica? Say, isn't that Howard Myers? Mayor Myers? And next to him, hmm, is that scientist Murloc? guy who plucked some of my fur. Oh, that's not good. Here's a report Butler wrote to someone. It goes on at length about how he's been rounding up Pokemon help from the police. It seems Brad has been particularly active on that front. Brad's not going to be happy when he finds out the Chief's been playing him like a fiddle. The report also says that Holiday's been making a nuisance of himself. Looks like the inspector's been repeatedly objecting to Butler's methods. These are forms filled out by the victims of Pokemon-related incidents. They contain descriptions by the victims of the damages occurred. Incurred. Uh, let's see. Descriptions of Pokemon stealing things. Pokemon causing property damage. Wait, I don't see a damage report about the incident that occurred at the flower shop. I thought Intellion destroyed the flowers there. I'm not seeing any reports about stolen food either, even though Morpeko was detained for stealing food. So they're detaining Pokemon over incidents that don't even have damage reports? I wish I could show all of these to Tim. Pretty sure taking them all is out of the question though. I'll just have to settle with taking the most important looking pages. Let me just tear those out. Guess I can hide these in my hat for now. Oof, hat feels a little snug now. Well, now that I've got those documents, I'll just close the safe so it looks like nobody was here. Why'd you stuff your hat full of papers? Are they super special or something? Yeah, ditto. And thanks to these, you'll be able to see Granny again. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. Thank you. Yep. So just wait here a little longer. I'll just take these papers back to my room and... Huh? Is someone there? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Someone's coming. Let's hide there. <laughs> Inviting me to Mario Party Superstars? 
fancy boy. Please, come in. Oh, who's meeting with Butler? Oh, that's, is that Murloc? Thanks yeah. for your information. The jewel is now in my possession. As for the matter of that woman and Pikachu. That Pikachu's being transferred tomorrow. Detective had it all. I see. I won't tolerate any mistakes. Hmm. If you'd like more money, deal with that woman for me, too. Leave it to me, sir. Now then, I'd like to see how things are progressing with the control cubes. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's that other guy. That's Murloc. It has to be. That guy Butler met with. Who could he be? Well, I guess he didn't Us. see him. He said I'm getting transferred tomorrow. Peter. Sounds like we better hurry. This is bad. I gotta tell Tim about what we just heard. Better go prep for our next visit. Couldn't are are we gonna just tell Ditto to pose as us? Tim visits Pikachu. I'm glad they're letting us visit, even though it's late. Yeah, we we could have come tomorrow if we were turned away, but it's nice they let us in. So the story in this moves at such a snail's pace, but I get why it does it. I mean, it's just... It just moves so slow sometimes. Well, I'm glad you came tonight. There have been some interesting developments. Oh? What'd you find out, buddy? Come a little closer, Tim. I'll tell you all about it. Hey. So what are these interesting developments you mentioned? Apparently, they're planning to transfer me to some other location tomorrow. They're relocating you? Where? And for what? And what for? Could help if I could read. I don't know, but something tells me it's not an all-inclusive beach resort. Oh, really? And once I'm there, I doubt we'll ever be able to we'll be able to visit each other like we have been. Seriously? Then what can we do? Calm down, Tim. Our window for opportunity hasn't closed just yet. But first, I gotta ask, did you learn anything about Brad? Yeah, Brad's not our guy. He's been independently investigating these incidents, just like we are. Just like we are. Okay. In that case, we might be able to get him on our side, don't you think? With Brad's help, I'd be able to waltz on out of here tomorrow morning. But that would put Brad in a position of working against the police. Do you really think he'd agree to that? Brad's a dork. Brad's a douche. He'll do what we tell him to. If you want him to, you have to explain what's. If you want him to, you'll have to explain what's really going on, and you'll have to do it clearly with no room for doubt. Tell him who's behind all this and how they did it. Well, to be honest, I still haven't figured it all out. I don't think we have enough information yet. If it's info you need, I've got you covered. I found some definitive proof in the police station. Let's look over the evidence and get to deucing. Wait, Pikachu, are you sure it's a good idea to show it out in the open? The officer will see. Rachel, quick, put your breasts on the screen. On the, uh... Distract the guard. Put your tits on the on the plastic on the on the partition. I will not do that. Okay, officer, quick! There's a Pokemon loose in this room. What? I don't see any Pokemon. Over here in the corner. Look closely. Huh? Let me see. How old is she? Uh, she's in college. She's like 18 or 19, 20. Wow, Rachel's really on it. She distracted the officer for us. See? She did exactly what we asked her to. Now's our chance, Pikachu. Okay, here are some papers I found inside the safe in Butler's office. Thanks. Looks like an instruction manual for the devices and various incident reports. Along with, there are four sets of documents in total. Read them closely and make your own deductions. Manual for the cube-shaped devices. Orders from Unitas. Damage reports. Oh, she in Fortnite, so I get it. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm glad we're on the same page because she's in Fortnite. I think you need to convince Brad. Okay. 
So how are the Pokemon being controlled? We got a lot of information from people in the city, and we have the evidence you found in the chief's office. We should try deducing the method the culprit used to give orders to Ditto. Someone gives orders by pretending to be a victim. Someone gives orders using other Pokemon. Controller. According to the instruction manual, the devices can be operated remotely using a controller. Hmm. I thought the culprit needed to be at the scene of the crime to give orders, but if they use a controller to give orders from afar, they could have avoided being seen by witnesses. Alright, so now we know how the culprit did it. Found all that evidence for one little bit. Someone who could have been involved in every single incident on also giving orders to Pokemon. Yep, that's our guy. All right, now let's see if we got... Mm -hmm. Let's think about who the real culprit might be. Lieutenant Brad McMaster. Brad is the real culprit behind everything. His high crime clearance rate can be explained if he's the one committing the crimes and then solving them. I think it's Butler. Okay. Yep. Chief Butler was ordered to capture and transfer Pokemon, and he was getting paid for it, too. And we found those orders in his office. Yep, which means the real culprit is... The head of the Pokemon Protection Bureau, Chief Butler. <gasps> ah! Sorry, sorry. Headphone war wearers, be warned. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Now we know the truth behind all these incidents. Chief Butler was using some kind of controller to make a Pokemon commit crimes. Exactly. Ow, my freaking ears! You need to tell Brad ASAP. He'll probably be shocked, but if you show him proof, I think he'll understand. Then we can stop Butler from carrying out his plans. Yeah, I'll do that, but still, you're supposed to be transferred somewhere tomorrow, right? Bird too loud. Squawk! Right? Are you sure we'll make it in time? Good point. I need to figure out a way to escape. I need to figure out a way to escape. Tight secure. <laughs> Along with these cubes. What are you thinking, Pikachu? I'm soliloquizing, Tim. Shut up. I hadn't thought of that. But, but, uh, a bolt of brilliance! Huh? If I get the other Pokémon to help, we can all escape! And I can finally get out of here! <laughs> Pikachu, Rachel's assets were on there. Don't put your face on there. Oh boy. Steve. Steve from Steve Tendo Show has been suspended for three weeks without pay. <laughs> I'll need help from the others if I'm gonna bust out of this joint. You said Luxray and the others were helping you, right? Are you sure you'll be okay? Yeah, of course. You just watch. I gotta bust myself out of here and take all the others with me. As he should be. <laughs> oh, speaking of Luxray, we found that Mighty Anna. Really? How was he? Uh, he was injured. We helped him get back on his feet, but after that, he was arrested. Oh, well, well, I'll tell Luxray. Thanks, Tim. We're breaking out of here tomorrow, and like I said, I'm bringing the others with me. Mighty Anna included. What do you need me to do? Cause a distraction for the police outside of the station. Got it. You want to make sure there are as few officers in the station as possible, yeah? Exactly. That'll be our chance to escape. Oh, don't forget about Brad. Thanks, Rachel, for running back in at the end there. Glad she was still distracting the cops. Do you think Brad will believe us? You've got all the information to prove it, right? I'm sure that'll convince him. Yeah, I, I guess all we can do is try. I bet Brad's still investigating, out investigating at one of the crime scenes. All right, so I guess let's go check Second Avenue first. I would like to finish this chapter or episode or whatever tonight. Because I feel like I feel like these chapters take like an episode and a half. All right, so is he not at this one? Oh, what's that over there? Oh, flowers! I thought those were bananas. Okay, so he. He must be at the fountain. I can, 
if he's not at the fountain, maybe he's at the flower shop. So let's see. Is he at the fountain? He is at the fountain. Hey, Brad! Hey. Uh, hey, oh, chapter. Just like chapters in Fortnite where the girls from. <laughs> Are you ready to try and convince Brad? Yes. Excuse me. Hi there, Brad. I see you're here at the plaza again. As you, as are you, great detective. What of it? What happened with that mighty Anna earlier? It's being taken into custody at the police station, just like your Pikachu was. I see. Is that all you wanted to ask? No, there's something else. Something important. Brad, what's your opinion of the Bureau? My opinion? Do you think the police and the PPB trust each other and work together effectively? Why? Did you hear something from Inspector Holiday? In any case, it's hard to say. I'm finding a lot of strange discrepancies with these recent Pokemon incidents. Oh, see, even Brad knew. Too many to chalk up the coincidence, wouldn't you say? As if someone in the police or the PPB wants it that way. Brad's invalid. Do you have any evidence of that? Without proof, all I can do is carry on with my job. And that's exactly why you keep returning to the crime scenes, isn't it? To find proof of who's behind all this. He needs to be a better Brad man. Brad man, Brad man. All he needs is Brad man. Are we done here? Sorry, but I'm very busy. Let's go, main Ectric. Man. No, you don't. Yeah. The PPB is detaining innocent Pokemon. Uh, pardon? And that's not all. They're also planning to transfer those Pokemon being detained at the police station somewhere else. Zua. That's a very serious accusation you're making, especially if it were true. I have proof. And show me. Let's see this proof of yours. There you go. Take a look at this. It's from Chief Butler's office. Now why would you have something from his office? Are you suggesting I stole it? You don't have any evidence of that, do you? Just hand it over. Yeah, Brad. You can't accuse me of stealing, you fucker. This can't be. They're controlling Pokemon? <laughs> of course. So that's why the Pokemon become so obedient once those devices are attached. And it all adds up. This list accounts for each and every incident to date. So they were all orchestrated by Butler. Or rather, by this Unitas organization pulling his strings. <laughs> so Brad, do you believe me now? Pikachu and the other Pokemon are innocent. I never thought something like this could happen. Please, Brad, we need your help. We just want to help Pikachu and the other Pokemon of the city. Any other day, I would have thought this was some kind of joke, but the evidence you have is irrefutable. Very well, then. I'll confront Chief Butler about this. Really? Thank you, Brad. There's no need for you to thank me. I'm just doing my job. Oh, see, he even looks like a pompous douche in that headshot right there. You can only see half of it because my gorgeous headshot is in the way. The duty of the police is to uphold the peace and protect the residents of this city. That will always take priority over orders from the PBB. I'll get started first thing tomorrow. That might be too late. They plan to transfer Pikachu away tomorrow. Too late? But any sooner it would mean a breach of official procedure. Oh, Brad, come on! Listen, Brad, I'm pretty sure Pikachu's going to make a break for it at the station tomorrow morning. What do you mean? We, we got a plan. If we can pull it off, Pikachu and all the innocent Pokemon will escape. But in order for our plan to work, we need your help. Not giving up without a fight, huh? Well, what is it you want me to do? Thanks. Here's what I had in mind. Cutscene! Or not. <laughs> Who's winning the Great American Brad off? Detainment Day 3. Pikachu. Morning. But who is winning the jack off, though? Also, Brad. Morning already? Time to get the show on the road. Who is the best jack? If we don't do something, I'm going to be transferred away somewhere today. And all these innocent Pokemon are going to be stuck here with no way out. Right, Dad. Let's do this. I'm going to get us all out. Brad clears. It's not coming off. <laughs> it's just 
Oh, we got it. Oh, I got it off. <laughs> All right, I did it. I'm free. Yay! It's time for exercise. Proceed to the roof, single file. Great. Strange. That announcement's usually the last thing I hear before losing my memories. But now, I'm the only one here that seems unaffected. Must be because I got rid of that cube. For now, I guess I'll go up to the roof with the others and let Luxray and folks know about the escape. Now, Pikachu's got to pretend that he's under mind control. Hey. hey, everyone. You want to get out of this police station, don't you? None of you actually did those bad things they arrested you for. We were set up by a few rotten humans, and I've got proof. Wow, nice guy, Pikachu. Yay! Well, proof is good and all, but what we really need to... Wait, uh, to... Uh, what we really need to catch the culprit is time. And that's something I don't have. Right now, I gotta... He took his Fortnite back blink off. Uh, right now, I gotta bust out of here. Then I'll catch the culprit. Bust out? But how? There's no way you can do it alone. You're right. That's why I need everyone's help. I assume you have a plan? I'll help. Just tell me what to do. How terribly exciting. I'll help as well, of course. Thanks. I know I can count on you all. But first, we're going to need to get those devices off of you. Otherwise, you might not be able to move around as you please. So off with those pesky cubes! Oh. Ooh, this thing? I'll get yours, Luxray. So, that machine's what robbed us of our bodily autonomy? Yeah, because that's what Luxray would say. What should I do after getting this thing off? I need you to distract the police officers, Pangoro. It won't be easy. Do you think you can handle it? Just, just leave it to me. Thanks, Pangoro. Are you planning to ride on my back again? Yeah, I'm counting on those eyes of yours. Oh, and Luxray, about your friend Mightyena. Did you find something out? Apparently, he was detained and brought to the station yesterday. He must be in one of the other rooms. Well then, I guess we need to go to the basement. Right. Once excuse me, Once we've freed everyone, we can make a break for the exit. Oh, but you all should know that part of this roof is monitored by a security camera. Just to cover our bases, we should pretend that we're still being up controlled when we walk past that area. I got that thing off of you, Luxray. And I got Pangoros off, too. Well, well done, Sableye. Thanks, Impidimp. There's no way I could have reached that myself. Oh, I hope I'm not going to have to, like, walk in, like, unison to get past these these cameras. Mm, yeah! <laughs> Impressive. You got those off in no time at all. Thanks, Pangaro. Okay. Looks like we're all ready. Let's all get out of here together. Yes, please, do it in cutscene. <laughs> Aren't they gonna notice that they don't have the things on their back? Or maybe I'm reading too much into this. Exits on the first floor, correct? Yeah, but first we gotta go to the basement to let all the other Pokemon know about the escape. Got it. Let's take care not to be seen as we go. Oh, I'll distract the police. You can use that time to escape. I'll catch up with you later. Sorry to ask it of you, but thanks, Pangoro. Pangoro. Oh, can I not walk? Okay. Gotta go to the basement! <laughs> Hey Pikachu, I went scattered at floor B1. Everyone's inside the detainment rooms, and there's a newbie, Mightyena, that's hurt. Mightyena? So his wounds haven't fully healed yet. I see. Why don't we swing by and check on him? I know your word. Oops. Sorry, Luxray. Where are the YouTube short shinies? I haven't posted that yet. I haven't cut it or posted it yet. Looks like there aren't any officers in the guard room. 
But I take this opportunity to unlock the doors. Let me see. 2168. I have to post them. The detainment room doors are unlocked now, right? Yeah, let's go around everyone up. Oh, uh, see through. Fredo! Hey. Hey. Everyone knows the sun, but now's our chance to escape. Really? Oh, hooray! Oh, thanks for coming to let us know, Pikachu. Huh. I'm not gonna take Pikachu's word for it. He's probably trying to trap me again. It's the truth, the Dene. You gotta believe me. Are you okay, Mariana? Luxray, it's your fault that I was injured and then captured by the police. No, you misunderstand. Our fight was a setup. It was orchestrated by some villainous humans. You're blaming humans? This Luxray here isn't the one who fought with you, Mariana. It was a ditto. It was forced to use Transform to pose as Luxray. You don't expect me to believe that ridiculous. Believe what you want, but now is your chance to escape. Please come with us. Fine, but I can't walk too quickly. My leg hurts. You go on ahead. I'll catch up afterward. If this is a lie, you're going to pay for it. Believe you me. We'll take care of my Diana. Okay. All right, let's get out of here. Let's see if they'll let us go this way. Okay, that was our cells berries okay all right let's get the hell out of here and now my partner's waiting in the first full lobby i think we can make it that far of course you think i've come this far just to fail All that's left to do is get to the lobby. You can't go this way. There's a human in the end of the hall. We'll have to go another way. Oh, great. We were seen. I swear, we'll get out of here. I didn't even know there was a cop in there. Hmm. I should have killed him. <laughs> Bit his neck and sliced his throat. So they just don't do anything. Well, they're like, uh... He's gonna come in here, isn't he? Turn. Well, they're like uh, guards in Ocarina of Time, where they... Oh, sh shitty, actually. Nope, he's gonna turn. Oh! Why would they show that one? To go in there, if there's a cop right there. I don't understand that. It was a fun, funny joke. Wait, that's the way they want me to go? All right, I guess we're gonna walk right past them. Taking the car so long. 
They can't hear anything. No, they're, they're deaf. They got their earbuds in. What's taking the car so long, Lieutenant McMaster? I asked you to call one for me. My apologies. It seems to be running late. You know how valuable my time is? I thought you were better than this. We'll be transferring Pikachu as soon as that car gets here. Make sure you to pass those orders to your office. That won't be happening, Chief Butler. Huh? What are you doing here, young detective? Pikachu is innocent. He didn't damage that slowpoke statue. And now we'll thank you to set Pikachu free. Are you too serious? You really think any good can come from resisting me, the chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau? They're listening to the Tsuki Fortnite videos. Oh, what, all one of them? <laughs> There's no point in threatening us. We won't back down. Is that so? In that case, I'll have you forcibly removed. Lieutenant McMasters, as you can see, these two are interfering with a public servant in the execution of their duties. Arrest them. Are you listening to me, Lieutenant? Why don't we hear what they have to say, Chief? What did you say? Hey, Tim! Right. Hey, Tim. Sorry I kept you waiting. Pikachu, you're okay. Impossible. Why are Pikachu and Luxray here? Detain them already, Brad. Nah. Pikachu's coming home with me. Because the real culprit behind all this is you! Is you, <gasps> Chief Butler. Bum, bum, bum. I'm the culprit? Ha! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Your partner is the one who destroyed the Slowpoke statue. You can't talk your way out of this. Oh, yeah? You're just playing innocent. Tim, Rachel, please. To start off strong. Rachel, please, please, please. I got this. Is Pikachu the culprit? No. Well, that doesn't exactly prove my innocence, Tim. Stay what? Calm and think this through. Well, that doesn't exactly prove my innocence, Tim. Stay calm and think this through. All right. So because he can't. No. All right. It doesn't exactly Glad they let you just pick system. all of them. Stay calm and think this through. All right, Pikachu, I think we got this one. That night, Pikachu was okay. at the Hat Cafe. A witness saw him there drinking coffee. I couldn't care less about that. Don't we have I have irrefutable proof of his guilt. The police have the surveillance camera footage. Yeah, first try. Are you suggesting it's some other Pokemon in that footage? Yeah. It clearly shows your Pikachu committing the crime. So, so the evidence we have is it shows that they were brainwashed and that they were controlled by a remote controller. But because he was... But because he was, but because he was at the coffee shop. A transformed ditto. A transformed ditto. A ditto recently oh, we got him. Missing. And according to its partner, it's not great at transforming and can only imitate what it's able to see. Now look at this. What am I looking at exactly? Picture on the floor, Chief. There are no stripes on its back, which means that Pikachu is not my partner. <gasps> you actually think me and that Ditto are working together? Didn't we know you, you were. Just say that Ditto has a partner of its own. If I gave it orders, it wouldn't have listened to me. Because they were controlled. How did Butler make Ditto obey? So that works well, then, but not why Pikachu wasn't the culprit. We put those on in order to manage them. What's wrong with that? Oh, don't say that. Those Chief. devices can be used to completely control Pokemon. What are you? That's nonsense. Nonsense. When the devices were glowing, the Pokemon did whatever they were told. Don't tell me you believe this. Evolve. Do you 
you hear yourself right now? Arrest him. A device that controls Pokemon? Nonsense. As if something like that could even exist. And even if it did, you have no evidence that I used it. Yeah, we do. What proves that Butler used it? Another uh, cube's going. Gonna cry in the manual for the cubes. Ditto was in the chief's office. That does not prove that. Yeah, the manual. But I do have evidence. Take a look. <gasps> How did? How do you have this? Don't. Oh man. Brad, was it you? Huh? Incriminating evidence, much? Stop trying to deflect. These documents were found in your office, which means you were in fact using this device. <gasps> documents? <laughs> You're mistaken. That's all. I'm the chief of the PPB. I would never do such a thing. I don't even have a motive. Yeah, actually, we have the evidence that says you were paid. I've discovered your motive. BAM! Look at this. After that rocky start, we got through it. Unitas provided you with the devices, and you provided them with detained Pokemon. In exchange for large sums of money. Don't we have a table in like the lobby of the police station instead of putting evidence on the ground? You're not detaining Pokemon here. You're kidnapping them. <gasps> well, Chief Butler, did I miss anything? Chief. Exposed by this kid. Chief, first off, put your chest hair away. Second of all, never stood a chance against us. If you got a problem with the kid. Just shoot him! <laughs> Wonderful work, Tim. Thanks. Thanks, Rachel. Pikachu, you were amazing, too. Yeah, you. Yeah, we were. I owe you two big time. Anyway, now you can finally get out of here. But they didn't yeah, detain him yet. I could really go for some coffee after this. That was great detective work, Tim. On behalf of the Rhyme City Police, you have our sincerest gratitude. Lieutenant. Thanks, Brad. Hmm. All those Pokemon were innocent. Naturally, we'll be canceling that transfer of Pikachu. She used the money to make the people stay quiet about them getting shot. Yeah, exactly. And all the other Pokemon will be set free as well. And he gets away with a bang! Ugh. And I covered my tracks so carefully, too. No, you didn't. You left all the evidence in your safe in your office. No, I mean, uh, you've got me all wrong. This was never my plan from the start. I intended to work hard to further the cause of coexistence between humans and Pokemon. If those jerks hadn't come around to tempt me with all that money... <clears throat> Chief Butler, I believe you still have the control in your possession. Oh, you know about that too? Okay. Now, Chief Butler, please hand over the controller. Oh man, she's pissed. <laughs> Whoa, what the? What's going on? <laughs> it's broken. <gasps> Now it'll turn out he didn't do that. There goes our proof. Oh, that's just great. Oh, who's that at the door? Well, Chief, no, Butler. I've got a lot of questions for you. Now, come with me. Put him in custody. Blinded by cash, he lost sight of the path of justice. That was Brad, too. That was the people in white. Yeah. Well, I'm finally free. Thanks for all the help, Tim. Me? 
I couldn't have done this without you. I'm so happy for you, Pikachu. Lox? Oh, sorry, Luxray. This human is my partner, Tim. Lox? What's Luxray saying? He says, thanks you for checking up on Mighty Anna. Also, change your red sweatshirt every once in a while. Got it. Oh, that reminds me. Can you tell Luxray to please thank Indeedee for treating Mighty Anna's wounds? Sure. Anyway, Tim, about Jessica. That's right. She's being targeted by that Unitas organization. Hey, Rachel, can I ask you about Jessica? I just can't believe anyone would want to target her. Jessica knows both your family and Murloc, doesn't she? Yeah, she worked at the research facility with my mom. I didn't realize Murloc worked with them too. Jessica really respected my mother. She often came to visit us at our house. That's how we became friends. Jessica said she lives in Bamboo Burrow, though, now. Ah, oh, Jessica. It always comes back to Jessica with us, doesn't it? Not even going to explain what that means. <laughs> yeah, doesn't she... Didn't she say she works at a pizza place? In that case, Unitas might show up at Bamboo Burrow next. We better go to Bamboo Burrow ourselves, then. I'm going, too. I'm worried about Jessica. You don't mind, do you, Tim? No, it's fine. Ha! <laughs> like saying no would have stopped her. Should we go right away? I'd like to, but there's still some loose ends we've got to tie up around this case. Like giving your report to Holiday, for starters. Cowboy Hat Club, though. That's the Chichuki special. That's all we're going to say. Let's head out, uh, like, tomorrow morning. Okay. Rachel, we're planning to go tomorrow. Okay. I better get ready. Then it's settled. Tomorrow, we're off to Bamboo Burrow. Bamboo Burrow. Let's see how bad this game is getting. Or, or maybe it didn't. Later that evening at Tim's apartment. Let's see what holding on to a lead means. God, they just can't get anything going. Yeah, one sec, Tim and Pichichu. I'm checking scores here. I just cannot get anything. Uh, it sucks. Alright, uh, are you okay, Pikachu? You sure went through a lot. That cube thing was awful. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. It was like all the colors disappeared before my eyes, and all sounds and smells faded away too. Pretty soon, even my own thoughts vanished. Before I knew it, I was under somebody else's control. That's horrible. Who, who would make a thing like that? We've just got to keep working this case. If we're persistent enough, we're bound to find the bad guy. Well... One thing we do one thing we do know for sure is the name of the group that was giving orders to Butler, Unitas. Yeah, Butler's motive was purely financial. He's not the one pulling the strings. It seems like this Unitas organization is behind all of these cases so far. But why would Unitas even want to kidnap Pokemon? That's the question, alright. I sense something really dark behind all this. As for Unitas' next goal, remember that photo I found in Butler's office? The one of Jessica, right? Rachel's friend? Between the circle on that photo and the note I found, I think we can be certain that Unitas was ordering Butler to find Jessica. Yeah, but why would they target her? I don't know what they want from her, but keep in mind that we're dealing with an organization that's willing to kidnap Pokemon. We better hurry and make sure Jessica's safe. Right. Oh, by the way, Tim, isn't it about dinner time? Oh, I totally forgot. So, you'll take care of dinner tonight? Sure, Mom. Yeah, no problem. It won't be anything special, though. Oh, I still need to get <laughs> Sophia. Uh, uh, okay. I saw the Chichuki stream. Oh, hey, That's why. Ring. You dropped your ring! <clears throat> right. She can't understand me. That's what you think. Oh, well. This is Harry's ring. <laughs> oh, Pikachu. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Well, it's done. Was it the right choice? Oh, that's right. They they I got a divorce. For my family. Even if it makes me the bad guy. If I told her the truth, Irene, she never agreed to a divorce. <laughs> You're the only one I can confide in, Pikachu. Pika Vega. If I told my wife Irene that I was attracted to her Gardevoir and I wanted to divorce, she this would never go for it. Ring. When your father left, he didn't take it with him. Are you getting a divorce? <laughs> no way! Oh, wait, they didn't know? We're not. Oh, okay. He may have said that's what he wanted. But when he said it, he couldn't bring himself to look me in the eye. He always does that when he's hiding something. I'm sure he got involved in some sort of incident. So he pushed <laughs> us away to make sure his family stayed clear of any danger. Uh, no double Christmas. Mom. Ma! Looks like Unitas has their next target. Rachel's friend, Jessica. Tomorrow, we'll go to Bamboo Burrow and make sure Jessica is safe. And if she has any information about Unitas, Unitas. That'll get us closer to solving this case. Why would they want her, though? That's weird. I don't know enough about Jessica to wonder why they would want her. The next morning! Mm hmm. Hey, good morning, buddy. How'd you sleep? I like a log. Nothing quite like sleeping in your own bed. Waking up and it feels just different. I totally agree, Pikachu. Especially when you're coming from that bed at the police station. It's like sleeping on rocks. I've been worried about you after you fainted again yesterday. How you feeling? Don't waste your worries on me, buddy. I feel great. In that case, I guess you'll be able to come along to Bamboo Burrow and look for Jessica. Of course I'm coming. Yep, Butler's in custody, but that doesn't mean Jessica's safe. Agreed. Uh, we'd better check on her ASAP to make sure she's okay. And that photo, I'd like to know more about what was going on when it was taken. We'll have to ask Jessica how she knows the people in it. Right on, Timbo! Now you're thinking like a detective. I am a detective. Well, time to get moving. Let's go. Talk to my right. mommy. It's quite startling when Pikachu fainted last night. I suppose it's understandable, considering he was being held at the police station. But the same thing happened during dinner the other day, too. Yeah, Timbo. You didn't see that written there, Timbo? More like bimbo. Oh, oh, hey, oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> I think the two of you may be pushing yourselves a bit too hard. Why don't you take today to rest? I wish we could, but there's still a lot to investigate. Pikachu's ready to go to. Why don't you take it easy until lunch then? Thanks, but we're already getting a late start. We're ready to really go and head out. Of course you do. Sorry, we'll see you later, Mom. Oh yeah, the newspaper. <laughs> it's a morning paper. Guess I'll give it a quick read. Even the smallest articles can offer vital info. Oh my... Ow. All right. Chief of Pokemon Protection... Pre Wait, uh... No, let's try that again. Chief of Pokemon Protection Bureau removed from misconduct? Mm -hmm. It's an article about Chief Butler. You mean former Chief Butler. I ain't reading all that. I don't want to read all that either. He captured innocent Pokemon and exchanged them for money. There's no way he's keeping his title after that. Seems like all the Pokemon being detained at the police station were able to return to their homes. And the police are searching for the Pokemon that went sent, were sent to Unitas. Looks like Brad's team is handling that. It's the least they can do after they went around arresting all of them. Gossiflor Choir performs to Full House! <laughs> it's an article about the Gossiflor Choir concert. That's the group you saved from disbanding, right? I don't know if I'd go that far. Still, I didn't expect to see them in the newspaper. They're a bigger deal than I thought. It says here their concert tickets tend to sell out fast. Guess it's a good thing that we managed to find them. Yep, looks like they made it to the next stop on their tour. Let's go see them next time they're in Rhyme City. Sounds good to me. We should check out their concert schedule. Renowned chef dishes about the perfect cooking height. Thought it said hot. It's an interview with a top rated chef in Rhyme City. 
Oh, hey, I see them on TV all the time. I think their catchphrase is something like, heat is paramount when it comes to cooking. I'm sure that's not their catchphrase. They sound pretty fired up about cooking heat in this interview, too. According to them, a flame is fervent, fierce, and focused as a pig nights focused as a pig nights produces the ideal cooking temperature heat whatever huh kind of surprised they use pig night as the standard there's got to be a lot of other pokemon that can create stronger flames than pig night right oh tim how dare you how dare you say bad things about tepig maybe if the flame's too strong the food just burns to a crisp pig night dino pig night i see guess there's more to cooking than i realized Researchers remain baffled by Mystery of Ferret's Tail. Hmm. I'm just glad there are people out there doing this kind of research. Where does Ferret's body end and its tail begin? Seems like the researchers involved in this debate couldn't reach a conclusion. No, 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 no Fortnite, Pig Night. This topic's come up a few times before, right? But no one's been able to find a real answer. See? No one has that problem when they look at me. My body's here, my tail's back there. Easy. Ferret, though? That's a whole nother fucking story. Not even a great detective like me could get to the bottom of that. Uh, let's see. Master of Masterpiece! The changing value of art! Mm -hmm. What's this photo? Did somebody throw paint all over the wall? Oh, that's Rhyme City Hot New Tourist Spot. Originally, it was just the product of some Apom playing pranks. There was some debate about whether the wall should be repainted. But now it's apparently considered a popular piece of modern art. Uh, a Pokemon prank turned modern art, huh? Uh, the world really is full of surprises. Do you think the Apom could have been trying to make art on purpose? I doubt it. We should ask them next time. Oh, I, still have, I still have the ball. How did they get those pictures? It's actually a good question. How did they get those pictures? Give a breakdown of their yardage. Eh, forget it. Uh, we'll get there. Sorry. Uh, the migratory patterns of Talo. I wonder what happened to that Talo. Is that the one you met while I was detained? If it ended up living on the crossword king at times. Ooh, king at times. Ooh. I've never been. I'm not that good at crosswords. My mom really likes to do them. Uh, if it ended up living near Fountain Plaza, I'm sure it'll eventually stop feeling homesick. That place gets a lot of foot traffic, you know? Yeah, I always see people and Pokemon there. During the colder months, Tail will fly south to live where it's warmer. That Tail will probably do the same eventually. Well, I hope it enjoys its time here until then. The Daily Crossword. Let's cross some words, Tim. This sir, aromatic Pokemon has a beautiful flower blooming on its head. Uh, Eldegoss or Gossiflor. Or Lilligan, that too. I named the three Pokemon we saw in the woods. Uh, this Pokemon has fluffy fur around its neck. Delcat, yeah, sure. Yeah, I think that's bullshit. All right, so we read the newspaper. Where's, uh, other Sophia? How did you like the coffee I made? Well, uh, let me see. Oh, you made that coffee? Thanks, Sophia. She had her heart set on making coffee for Pikachu and was practicing it all day. Aw. You were pretty worried about him, huh? Well, of course I was worried. Pikachu is family. Thanks, Sophia. That was the best coffee I've ever had. Oh, see, Pikachu knows how to answer people. Yep. Alright. News before we leave. 
I love seeing them roast Butler. This is GNN News. Yesterday, Will Butler, chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau, was arrested for kidnapping Pokemon. <gasps> While Mr. Butler has largely admitted to the charges, he has also suggested that he had an accomplice. The Rhine City Police are now searching for any Pokemon that are still missing. In a statement, Mayor Myers said he is taking this incident very seriously and that the organization will undergo a complete reform. <laughs> the mayor's got his work cut out for him. Clean enough after that piece of work. Well, he did create the PPB. Hmm. Hmm. Hopefully this means the PPB will stop detaining innocent Pokemon now. Probably, yeah. But that still leaves Unitas, the organization Butler was working with. Not to mention those cube devices. I think it'll be a while till we can solve those mysteries. Until then, we have to do what we can to stop Unitas from causing any more harm. My thoughts exactly. Alright, so I guess... Oh, I guess we're gonna go right there. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Pikachu. Right. Alright, we're going to Bamboo Burrow. And we'll find a good place to wrap up. Memories of the Bamboo Forest. Wow. Look at this nice little town here. Hey. Alright, Tim. Let's go find Jessica. Yeah, we need to make sure that Unitas organization isn't after her. Guess we don't have any time for sightseeing while we're here. Jessica should be working at the pizzeria. Let's go there first to see if she's around. Right. Find Jessica. Uh, where's the pizza place? Oh. Oh, thanks, Rachel. Blossom. Yeah, thanks. You're playing a game with that old man? Sounds fun. Uh, Heracross, there's a qu uh, qu You know, let's talk to this lady. What do I do? He won't listen to me at all. Seems like something's up. Is there anything wrong? As you can see, my Viking Vol is about to start a fight with Heracross. Oh man, I don't like that buzzing noise. You're right, a fight is about to break out at any moment. Actually, I've heard that these two Pokemon have a history of being rivals. I was on a walk with Vikavolt, and then he bumped into Heracross, and that's when he lost his temper, huh? I wonder if there's some way that we could stop them. They're powerful Pokemon, so it'd be tough to stop them with brute force. Let's find a Pokemon that can help them calm down. Stop Vikavolt and Heracross from fighting. Eglarian Meow. Savage Vagabond. Meow. This is a Meowth, right? Yeah, it's a Steel-type Meowth. I take it you're not from around these parts, Meowth. Where'd you come from, buddy? That is me. <laughs> Meow. What? You're friends with Darmanitan and Ice-Q? You mean the Darmanitan and Ice-Q from the ruins? What are you doing here all by yourself? Meow. So your friends got captured and you followed them? Only to lose track of them around along the way? Meow. You like it here because Jessica feeds you. And there are others you can test your strength against? Your hobbies are eating and battling, huh? I hope we can help this Meowth see Darmanitan and its friends. I should still be in the southern ruins with Gordon. You must want to see Darmanitan and the gang, huh, Meowth? Meowth? You do, eh? Then let me tell you how to get to the southern ruins. Meow. I like to get fed by... <laughs> Rachel for me. No, I'm just kidding. Am I? Who knows? Uh, you don't want to go until you've battled and defended, defeated the strongest Pokemon in the Bamboo Forest. But you haven't won yet, so you want to beat that Pokemon before you leave. Let's be careful, Pikachu. Sounds like there's a really strong Pokemon out there. Okay, that's not the pizza place. Alright. I did that. Did that. Herbal Remedy Shop Clerk. Hi there, can I interest you in some herbal medicine? Excuse me. Oh, you know, all sorts. That 
It's descriptive. I'm just looking after the shop while the owner's away. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not sure that's something to laugh about. The owner's quite enthusiastic about herbal medicine. He's always disappearing to go look for ingredients. He'll pop up, he'll pop out, then suddenly show up again with piles of roots and empty insect shells. When he couldn't enter the bamboo forest a couple of years back, he ended up finding another good spot to collect ingredients. Turns out that spot's got different ingredients than the bamboo forest. He's been popping up, popping over there ever since. Nice. You know, I thought the owner was being kind of careless with his business at first, but it sounds like he actually knows what he's doing. This shop would go out of business without the owner's hard work. I'm more than happy just to hold down the fort. They seem like a great pair. Excuse me. Uh, unusual, huh? Hmm. Well, our supply of herbal medicine has gotten pretty low, so I've been wander wondering whether it'll last until the owner gets back. I see. I hope he comes back soon. Me too. It'd be a shame if he came back to a shuttered shop. How is she so carefree? Alright, we did that. Let's talk to this guy. Hey there, here to do some sightseeing? Then I have got the souvenir for you. Our bamboo charcoal is made from only the finest pieces of bamboo. Trust me, our quality is first rate. First class, huh? That's a bold statement. We'd love to hear more about this neighborhood and about bamboo charcoal too, if you don't mind. No problem at all. Can't, can't tell you much about the neighborhood, I'm afraid, but I can talk your ear off about bamboo charcoal. I guess we may as well listen. As I'm sure you're well aware, Bamboo Burrow is famous for its bamboo. By harnessing that abundant natural resource, bamboo charcoal was born. Our bamboo charcoal is crafted by a charcoal master with 60 years of experience. He pours his heart and soul into every piece. Huh? Wow, 60 years. I'm not sure why there's a dash there. I know, right? I've learned a ton by working with him. He's so dedicated to his craft. But I guess he'd have to be to do this for 80 years. Yeah. 80 years is a long time to do anything. Wait, wait a minute, hold on. Didn't he just say 60 years? I highly recommend our bamboo charcoal as a souvenir. He's as old as you. Oh, thank you, yeah. I'm not that old. Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual? Uh, strange question, stranger. Nothing comes to mind, though. I see. Well, thanks anyway. Guess nothing strange has been going on. A side duck. Blossom. Where the hell is the pizza place? Is this the pizza place? So, nope. Souvenir shop. Welcome. How about a souvenir to remember your trip? Oh, ooh, I love souvenirs. You never know. We might learn something useful. I feel like I've seen you somewhere. You hear that, Tim? People recognize us here, too. I got it. You two are detectives, right? Close. I'm not just a detective, though. I'm a great detective. I've got just a thing for a couple of sleuths. Hey, isn't that hat? It looks just like mine. Excellent choice. That detective hat is very popular with kids. Why don't we get one for Sophia as a souvenir? I think it might be a bit small for her. You're probably right. Too bad. Excuse me. Well, I've been seeing some new faces recently. Interesting. What sort of new faces? Why, hip youngsters like yourself, of course. I'll bet they heard all about the rare souvenirs we carry. I need to meow for directions right now. Side duck. There's another Meowth. That's a quest Meowth. Oh, here's the pizza place. Yes. Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. This is my app. This is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to the famous Bamboo Burrow Pizzeria. Excuse me. Uh, thanks. Uh, our, our pizza dough is infused with bamboo charcoal, giving it an aroma and flavor unlike anything you've tasted. You could say our pizza has real pizzazz. What, what happened to your Italian accent there just a second ago? Oh, that's just for the customers. You sure have a lot of energy. Good pizza starts with good energy. That's my motto. Come on, let's ask him some questions. I'm actually in the middle of concocting a new type of pizza. It's a mushroom pizza that uses... Uh, tochikatsu. I've got a hit on my hands, don't you think? Tochikatsu? Is that some kind of herbal medicine? That's right. Good guess. The idea popped in my head when I saw Paris. I'm sure people would enjoy a health-minded pizza. Excuse me? We're looking for the woman in this photo. We heard she works here. She does? Yeah, that's Jessica. She's been working here about two years now. Why are you looking for her? She's a friend of ours. Ah, oh, gotcha. Well, I'm sure she'd be happy to know you came by. I'm afraid she's not here at the moment, though. I believe she's going to get bamboo charcoal and other pizza ingredients. That's an important job when you work at a restaurant. 
That's helpful to know. The bamboo charcoal shop is right over there. Why don't you take a look? Maverick probably ate here before. Oh, there's a young goose. Old lady. Oh, quiz girl, Paris. Man, there are a lot of people around here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Is there a good place to... Maybe we'll... You know what? We'll... Uh, did we skip anybody? He'd love pizza. Yeah, Maverick does like pizza. Mmm, pizza. Yeah, alright, let's see. We talk to that guy. We'll talk to Psyduck. Hold on. Psyduck does not sound like Psyduck. Psyduck. Hey, Psyduck, what are you doing here? Psy? What's it saying, Pikachu? Psyduck's partner is conducting interviews around here. She's doing a special report on local restaurants, so she's looking for good places to eat. It's asking if we know of any good places. We only just got here, so I'm not really sure. My number one recommendation is the pizzeria right over there. Their oven-fresh bamboo charcoal pizza is out of its world. The curry place over there is good, too. They put tomato berries in their curry, so it's super spicy, but it goes so well with coffee. You said it like you've eaten at all these places. Huh, yeah, I guess you're right. I wonder why. Anyway, you said your partner's doing interviews for a special report? Is she a reporter? Doc. Oh, okay, your partner's a reporter for GNN. Well then, Psyduck, tell your partner we say hello. Tim, over here. Hey, Psyduck, how's it going? Ooh. Hi, <laughs> There's something I wanted to ask you, actually. Did you eat too much good food? You seem too full to chat right now. Yeah, that's what happened. Alright, well... I think that is where we're going to wrap up. For tonight if you are new to the channel make sure to give us a follow if you want to subscribe we would love that as well but don't go anywhere yet they needed a cutscene just for that well that that was if you speak to pikachu that's like a special cutscene you don't have to do that right away if you haven't seen how we end these things you're in for a treat and if you have then you know what to expect Good night, Kyle, and everybody who stopped by. That's gonna do it for us tonight. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure to give us a follow. Want to subscribe? We would love that too. Steve Tendo Show will be back tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern Time with more of our Super Mario Brothers Wonder playthrough. Uh, we are in World 3 for that. And then Wednesday will be more of our Paper Mario D Thousand Year Door playthrough. Enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your night. My name is Steve. We'll see you in the next one. Laters! Have a good night.